and welcome back to the theater for the last time in several months. So I am here today for my last shift. I don't have much to do. I did quite a bit yesterday when I came in. Instead of like working an eight hour, I decided to split it into four hours. But more importantly, I had to come in today because my auntie got a new puppy and she I think she has to bring the puppy to work today because there's no way to watch him at home. And I get to meet him and he is adorable. Oh my God. So you'll get to meet him too. Just look at him, isn't he so cute? I'm very excited. <laughs> when my aunt was trying to decide whether or not to get another puppy because their dog, their pupper passed away. 2018, 2019, somewhere around there. He was like 14 and he was a great Pyrenees, so that's quite impressive. Um, he passed away and kind of since then they've wanted to get another dog, but also like don't want to get another dog because of the emotional thing. And, um, but they recently moved house. Uh, they bought their own place. They bought, they had their own place, then they sold it, and then they rented it for a while, and now they've bought their own place again, so they don't have any animal restrictions. So they saw this guy, and I think he's part Great Pyrenees, part super adorable, I don't know. But anyways, I was like, every time she mentioned the dog, I was like, do it, do it, get the dog, get the dog. <laughs> I'm the worst, don't ask for my opinion on dogs unless the answer is yes. So anyways, I get to meet him today. His name is Maverick. My cousin hates it. He's like, I want to change it. It's too much of a mouthful. I'm like, it's the same Maverick and Journey, which was their last dog, same syllables. He's like, maybe I just hate the name. So anyways, we'll see if his name has changed, but I'm, I'm just honestly, I'm just finding work to do until 12 o'clock when my aunt gets here and then I'm gonna be so unproductive for a while while I just pet a puppy. Anyways, I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna have my breakfast drink and I'm gonna get to work on my last day in like two and a bit months. Oh. Hi, come here, come here Maverick, come here. What's this? Come here. His name is Maverick. I love him. I was just laying on the floor of the theater with him and he was like falling asleep and it was so cute. And yes, I promise I did do my four hours of work if anybody's wondering. I ended up staying there till 12.30 because I spent a lot of time just cuddling a puppy and he was so cute and I love him. And then I spent a lot of time convincing my aunt that she finally needs to make this the year that she comes out to the Blind Channel for a couple days. And um, because she can bring the puppy and the puppy can play with Strudel. And, oh. Anyways, I am home now. I just emptied my backpack of anything that I will need for the summer. So my bed's a little bit of a mess. I mean, it's not made, so it's kind of a mess. And I'm going to go make myself some lunch. And then I think it's bagel time and laundry time. And then once laundry's done, I can finish packing, save everything I need to pack tomorrow. So yeah, that's where we're at. We're doing all right. I can't believe... Like this time tomorrow, I'll probably be like just about getting ready to head down to the dock. Ah, crazy. Anyways, I need to go make some food and then make some bagels, etc., etc. So, you know, I'll check in as I can.
Hi, hello, it has been some time since I've spoken to the camera, but as you can see, I got a lot done. I now have two bags of pickles. Um, they're still, this one's still a little warm, so I'm keeping it open and apparently on my desk. I just figured it was better to bring it up here so I wouldn't forget it. And then a couple days ago, my mom's boyfriend was like, was like, can you please find out what Strudel's favorite flavor of treats is? Because I have to get her treats. And so it's her favorite flavors are prawn and anything liver. And so he went out today to get them. And he was like, this was the only dog treats that had liver in it. And mom was like, well, you could have got her anything because I'm sure she would have enjoyed it. And he was like, nope, for Strudel, it has to be the best. So yeah, Strudel got regional red dog treats. So I'm sure she'll be super stoked by those. Um, I am currently kind of in the final stages of packing, but it is uh, dinner time. So my rice is on and the sausages are cooked and just kind of waiting for that. So I think what I'm going to do after dinner is see if I can get my frying pans and my bagels into this bag. <laughs> bagels, so many bagels. And um, start throwing the rest of the stuff into the space that I have in the backpack. I think mostly, I th it's going to be close. It's going to be close, but hopefully it's going to be okay. But that's where we're at. I just wanted to update. Let me cross this off. Store keys. I mean, worst case scenario, if it kind of gets to the point where I just don't have enough room for things, I can pull out my oversized hoodie. I don't need that. I have a blanket somewhere packed. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go now because just like 10 minutes until dinner. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm dying from being in that um, kitchen though for so long baking. But these are without a doubt the most beautiful looking bagels I have made thus far. Like they're almost perfect shape. They're just beautiful. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go and I will check in with you after dinner and hopefully when I'm packing or maybe at the very least when I put these clothes away. <laughs> I have that towel over there I wanna bring for my hair because like my hair is really thick and it's really big and so I need another towel but I don't want to use two of the towels from others so I'll just use that and I might pack this this blue shirt here long sleeve because I really like it and maybe another bra I don't know at this at this point we're just gonna kind of see what fits but yeah I'm gonna go back downstairs and then after dinner we're gonna start really getting into it I guess I am the worst and I have stayed up way too, way too late. It's like 10 to 1 in the morning. I've been mostly packed, I mean, until tomorrow when I have to like pack my laptop and stuff. I'm as packed as I can be because all the cords will just go around. So I've just, I've just been doing nothing. I've just been watching Bondi Rescue. I fell down that rabbit hole, but it's fine. I need to clear off my bed a little bit so I can sleep. I need to change my pajamas and all that jazz, but I've just been super lazy, which is the worst. I think... I'm gonna have to set an alarm for tomorrow because I don't know exactly what time departure is and I have to shower because I was gonna shower today and then Bondi Rescue happened and so yeah that's a wrap but I'm gonna go sleep now and then hopefully I can get this edited tomorrow before I depart and um yeah tomorrow's departure day <gasps> crazy anyways good night <laughs>